you intellectual, inferior vermin, criminal scum, always angry, ready to eat anything you see, depending on the welfare from your spouse, loudest of the party, no father figure, planet picking, same eye looking, no credit having, dirty monkey, or not welcomed. Goku Black and Racism would be a political leader in peaceful negotiations if the peaceful negotiation was what I saw at the dumpster next to IHOP. That is to say, I love this villain and I have been dying to talk about him for so long. And his story starts where any genocidal mass murderer would begin with a taste of racism and a bit of a god complex. And when you mix those two together, well, let's just say Zamasu wakes up to a world saying, You welcome world, cause I exist. Going to his master Gowasu, who is the most oblivious Kaioshin that doesn't even realize his student talks down to mortals and Gowasu tells himself that his pupil would never do anything so wrong like he doesn't even understand. In Zamasu's head, what Hitler was to Jews is what Zamasu is to mortals. Wait, what? 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 No surprise, Zamasu kills his master on that Thanos timing, you know what I mean? I'll do it myself. And he proceeds to think of an ass whooping that he took by the mortal Goku. And there begins the zero mortal plan. And it all started with a wish. Not to get rid of all the mortals. No. That would make the game too easy. See, in a man who has a god complex, would you want another being to do your work? Or would you instead want to do it yourself? But not tarnish your hands with this grunt work. Instead, use a mortal body to do the work for you. And that is why Zamasu wished to have his body switch with Goku. And there you see the birth of Goku Black, the Grim Reaper of the Dragon Ball universe. Standing up, ready for the massacre to begin. And we the audience witnessed this all from Trunks POV. As he kills future Boma like a feather to the wind. Trunks yelling, what gives you the right to take innocent lives? It was part of our new terms and conditions. Huh? You agreed the second you entered my divine presence. Now die. <laughs> Just wailing on Trunks in his base form, no less. You see, Goku Black is one of those players that sees a new game, wants to play the game, but before he plays the game, he honestly wants to look up the tier list, find out who's the top tier, and only use the top tier. Is it a smart strategy? Sure, but against Trunks, who his main is a low tier character, it's not a fair fight, which forces Trunks to escape. But then Goku Black chases Trunks and sees his full potential right in front of him. Goku, the top tier character used by a top tier player. Goku Black, after interacting with Goku, Goku finally learned what the correct inputs were to make this character his own. And when the team showed up, it was over. Because Goku Black bananaed all of them. And just that insult to injury, we have the light opening up for our new foe has appeared. And Goku Black rejoices. Finally, a reflection worthy of my admiration. Like the god complex creature couldn't get more god complexy. He has himself and he has a variant of himself. So with the combined effort of both of them, they completely fade over the heroes. Forcing them to retreat until the attempt where they return with the plot on their side. Goku Black and eventually pulling out his own sight. A divine weapon born from his anger of the mortal realm. His anger of mortals was able to transcend him being able to power up to him getting a weapon that can tear open a pocket of the universe and spawn infinite clones of himself. So just to recap, you say this divine sight made by a mortal's hand with a divine mind within him with pulling up like an Escanor type shit saying like, I am the one that stands on top of all races. Posing up like he's the Grim Reaper who thinks how the fuck is anyone going to be able to defeat me now? Until the backup of the story finally kicked in, plot. Trunks learns how to use the Mafuba, does on Zamasu, force Goku Black to be like, wait a second, I don't sense my divine admiration, brother. He leaves an already winning fight just to go to Zamasu, be like, hey yo, what happened? And instead of Zamasu being like, hey yo, I think they have this little sealing technique that could be used against us. No, 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 Zamasu just, you know, how I says, these mortals are triggered than we thought. Making Goku Black worry, because he thinks his plan is going to fail. When in reality, his plan was foolproof. And I'm not even gonna try to defend the fact that Trunks learned the Mafuba in like 0.5 seconds after watching a YouTube tutorial video made by Piccolo. So they decide to fuse, which then ended up being their downfall. For the great god complex being that we had in Zamasu was nothing more than just a being of tyrant and rage. I hate this ending, this is the worst ending in Dragon Ball Super. Thank you much for watching, you guys stay safe and peace.